In College Hoops 2K7, it really pays off to have a post player with good quickness and dribbling ability. The reason these two traits are so helpful is because it enables you to pull off a behind-the-back dribble when posting up your opponent. The behind-the-back dribble is beneficial because you can typically catch the defender leaning in the wrong direction with it. Once you get the defender off balance, then quickly transferring the ball to the opposite side of your body will allow you to blow right by him most of the time. Let's go ahead and take a look at this example so you can see exactly what we mean. We begin this video on the defensive side of the ball. Boston College shooting guard Sean Marshall looks to convert but is rejected and Florida State looks to take it the other way now. Power forward Al Thornton hands the ball off to point guard Isaiah Swan as he takes it across midcourt. Swan looks to return the favor by entering the ball in the post to Thornton. We hold LT and we hit triangle to go behind our back multiple times and just work the defender for two points. Let's take another look at the example. Thornton goes behind his back, then spins back towards the middle for the easy bucket. Let's take a look at it in slow motion now. Thornton receives the entry pass. We're holding LT. Now we press triangle and he goes behind his back. We notice that that lane shut off, so we hit triangle again to go back to the other side. This time we have the defender beat, but to add on to it, we hold RT and hit triangle again. Holding RT will make you go faster, and in the end result is a spin move for the score. As we bring it into the front court again with Swan, we look to enter it into the post to Al Thornton. Thornton receives a pass and now it's time to go to work. We're holding LT and we hit triangle. However, sometimes you'll lose the ball. That's why it's important to use a post player that has good ball handling and good speed. So once you do dribble around him, you can blow by him for the easy bucket. Take a look at this instant replay. When Thornton goes behind the back this time, we catch the defender completely flat-footed and it actually breaks his ankles to the fact that where he falls down. Thornton crosses it back over behind his back to avoid the approaching defender and now goes up and lays it in off the glass. It's important to know that holding LT and pressing triangle doesn't always mean a behind the back move will be made. That'll happen most of the time, but like you're going to see in this example, power forward Ryan Reed is actually going to take the ball between his legs as he heads in for the score. Watch again, we hold LT and press triangle. He makes a quick move between his legs. He's not that fast of a player, however he had a distinct advantage after the move was made as he heads in for the easy land.